My name is Tori. I'm the owner of a web agency and I give Zoho Mail four out of five stars. For more reviews like this, click below. We typically use uh, G Suite, well, at, least, at least what it was called then, for our clients um, when we help them set up email addresses for the websites we build them. And every once in a while, a client would come to us and say, uh, hey, I don't really need all of um, I don't really need all that. I don't really need all that G Suite contains, and I really just need a few email addresses. So even though G Suite was our typical go-to, um, we did find Zoho Mail for several clients who said, I would rather pay less money or nothing and just have a couple professional emails. At the time that we started using Zoho Mail, uh, which was a long time ago, Zoho Mail was actually their free platform. Um, it was their free service offering. Now, Zoho Mail does have a monthly expense uh, connected to it, but it is very affordable and it's still great. And the clients that we set up way back when using Zoho Mail um, are still on it today and it's a great platform. When we were deciding what solution to use for these particular clients who just needed simple email solutions, um, we, we did analyze uh, several other free options at the time, because again, Zoho Mail did actually happen to be free when we implemented it way back when. Um, but we were really impressed at the control panel um, kind of access and different features for Zoho Mail, how even though it was a low cost email platform, that it was very feature rich in adding and removing email addresses and users, even things like aliases um, are possible in Zoho Mail. and um, even a long time ago, Zoho Mail's documentation has been fantastic on how to set up and access your email accounts, which, um, you know, if you don't, if you don't know how to do that and you set up a, an email account with, with a, a low cost solution, sometimes that's a really tricky part of dealing with that email address. It's always been great. So it was very easy for us to send our clients links and say, we helped you set this up. Um, and here's how you can get it on your phone. Just follow these, this, this very short tutorial, or here's how to get it on your desktop or your laptop. So I think those were the main differentiating features that led us to choosing Zoho Mail as, um, as this particular kind of solution. Getting started with Zoho Mail, um, I, I would say it's not difficult, but there are quite a few more steps um, when getting started on that platform, uh, in my experience, than using an alternative like Google's workspace or what used to be called G Suite. However, it was never something that was technologically difficult or um, hard to follow. Another thing that I've loved about Zoho Mail's platform is uh, for a long, long time, maybe since the beginning, um, they have included instructions on how to set up um, like the anti-spoofing records in your DNS, along with adding your MX records to make the email addresses work. Um, so like the DKIM record and the SPF records, for example, they would include those steps in setup and lots of other platforms, like you were on your own to figure out how to add those records um, yourself. So I really appreciated that. So there are quite a few steps. Um, you know, the backend control panel is a little, um, let's say a little bit less user friendly than some of the other options that we do use, but it is easy to set up. It just takes a little bit more time than some of the other options I found. If you're considering Zoho Mail, I would just look at, um, I would look at the features that that platform has that comes with it and compare that to maybe some of the more popular options like Google Workspace or G Suite and if what Zoho Mail's features include is adequate for you, um, I, would, I would say that that's a kind of a no-brainer platform to go with. It's a great place even as a stepping stone if this is a uh, maybe a lower volume email account, but it needs to exist. Uh, it just doesn't have a lot of requirements on it. I think this is an absolutely great place to host that. And even if it is your primary business email address, it's a very functioning platform. I would just advise you to think through some of those needs um, because obviously it is a little bit easier to pick the platform that you're going to end up with. But if there are cost constraints and having a lower cost email program is part of the plan right now, I, I would highly recommend Zoho Mail.